the AIDS. Right now we are going to do an example which is in your book. We are going to do an example on page 55 on how to do entries on a cash receipt journal. So you will see that the receipt journals which is there is already completed for you but I want to walk you through to show you how they arrived at that particular solution. Right, so how did they arrive at that particular solution, which is in the book right there? Okay, so we are going to go through it now. Pay attention, right? This is very important. Right, right there we go. Right, so we are going to look at the example in your books on page 55. So what is it that we are going to be looking at? The cash receipt journal, Don, Don's Garden Services cash receipt journal, right? Required to prepare a cash receipt journal for April 2016 that is provided in your textbook. So this has been done for you, right, as an example. So I'm going to walk you through to show you how it was done, right? So this is the cash receipt journal, which this is this blank spreadsheet. We can see here we've got the source document where we would be putting this document number, D standing for date, analysis of receipts. This is the details of where the money is coming from. And then analysis of receipts, that is if we receive any cash at the business premises and then bank the money that has been banked. Income fee, this, is, this reflects the core business of the company. So which means any services that involves garden services, it will be reflected here. And then sundry accounts, it reflects in any other sources of income other than the core business of the company. So let's look at transaction number one. Transaction, the first transaction, you find this on page 52 when the example started. Are we together? When they were explaining the, the, the how the business was started. You find that on page 52, right? On this particular day, he started in a, a, a business, he opened an account. After opening the account, he deposited a total amount of 80,000 rand made up from the check and a cash deposit. So we opened there, we, he was given a receipt. So that is the first receipt, it's receipt number one. We put the date, which is 1st of April. From whom did this money come from? Don Bruno. Did you receive any cash? No, the amount was directly deposited in the account. That's why it's not there. If you handle cash at the premises, you have to have some analysis of receipts. But since the money was deposited straight into the bank, that is 80,000 Rand. And it's not part of the core business, but this is capital. So we go to sundry accounts and you write capital. The next transaction, which is on page 54, right? April 2. Right, we borrowed the amount of money, 40,000 from First Bank. This is a liability. Right, which has been borrowed. So this is not part of the business account. Again, this amount, this is not part of the business, core business of the company, but this is money borrowed. So we get it away from the source document balance sheet, amounting to how much? To, uh, from the date of the second, sorry. Right, and then from where? First bank, right? Deposited directly into the bank, and it goes under sand because it's not the business, core business of the company. What is this money for? It's a loan from, from First Bank. And then transaction, the next coming transaction on the fourth, which is on page 54 again, right? Here we see that he has offered a service, right? And charged 1,000 rand for what? For a customer for mowing, refuse removal, and landscaping. He issued a source document, CRT, cash receipt, cash register tape number one, right? So that is the source document. The date is the fourth. From where did it come from customer service fees, right? This money is amounting to two to 1,000. So you see there's a bold line underlining that. That shows that the money has been deposited into the bank, right? And this amount of money is part of the income. So it falls under the fee income column. Next transaction, which is on page 55, on the 12th of April, service fees. Again, this is money coming in from the core business of the company. So it's receipt number two. So R2, there was R1, so now it's R2. Date is 12. Then this service fee income amounting to 2,000. You see board line again to underline to show that the amount has been deposited into the bank. And also this is part of the core business. 
moving on right next transaction again on page 55 commission so here you can see on 15 there are two transactions so the first transaction is commission received from vet nurseries amounting to 500 rand so receipt number two is issued so there we go the date is 15th and vet nurseries there is we see that the amount you can receive cash but it's not yet banked because we have to bank everything at once so we just go to sundry accounts this is what commission and then the other transaction is fee income so this is now based core business of the company right crt3 is issued right we don't write the date already we've got the same date because it happened on the same day so now we go service fees amounting to 4,000 rand and it took that amount now we add we together with the commission we deposit that's why you see now it's 4,000 4,500 to show that we have deposited the whole amount at once we don't deposit one at a time we deposit it as a total amount of 4,500 and the 4,000 is part of the fee income right moving on to the next transaction right which is on 21st April service fees as per cash register amounting to 1000 so crt4 right date 21st service fees that amount is deposited into the account there we go and that is fee income all right the next transaction on the 29th there are two transactions here there is a commission of 120 we deal with that one first we give a event necessary receipt number three date 29th this is the vet nurseries. Yeah, that's where the money came from, amounting to 120. We don't bank it first. We yet we have to wait for the 5,000. So we go under sundries, we write 120, that's commission. And then the other transaction on the 29th is the one way Don Bruno, right? We give him a receipt of four, R4, R4, receipt number four, Don Bruno. He gave us additional capital amounting to 5,000 rand now we can underline right so you see here is not underlined let me underline it so we need to underline here to show that it is now it is now a uh, what do you call it deposited into the account into the bank account right amounting to 5120 and the 5000 is capital right and the last transaction on the 30th it's service fee is per cash register tape amounting to three thousand so this is crt5 um, eight thirty service fee amounting to three thousand we again we have to underline there to show that it is deposited into the bank right and then that is fee income right now after doing that we need to find the total how much is there in the bank at the end of that month so we expect the bank to be having a total amount of 136,620 how much fee income has been raised in that month so the company managed to make an income of 11,000 other source of money how much do we get from other incomes other monies that we're coming in we see that is 125,660 if we add the fee income and the sundry totals it must give us the total amount in the bank so this is what we expected that is how you fill in a cash receipt journal are we together so uh, if you did not understand please replay and you see where the transaction were being entered and then after you will see that you understand i want you now to go to page 56 to 57 and attempt ask for point three so you guys you are going to do this task i don't expect you to know to finish everything today but if you run into problems still there's another video coming your way with the solutions okay enjoy the rest of your day i hope you have learned something again if you don't understand remember you must ask don't sit without understanding enjoy the rest of your day